here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Sugar Tits video. Today we take a further look into the trend of woke advertising. Believe me when I say, I'm in pain. Believe me when I say, and believe me when I say, my pain is real. And in this particular instance, woke advertising that involves young children and parents of those young children put out there in the hopes that it will encourage parents to raise their children as little woke soldiers in the fight against the constraints and problematic norms of gender stereotypes in society. Of course, one has to worry that subjecting young children to this kind of ideology at such a young age is dooming them and setting them on a path of gender confusion, radical progressivism and potentially potentially a lifetime of struggles with mental illness, anxiety and depression. So you may ask, why would any parent ever want to subject their little precious child to something that could be so harmful that may set them on the track to a life of such extreme angst, difficulty and hatred even. Won't somebody please think of the children? Because it's woke, yo. Because virtue signaling wokeness is the thing right now. It is so hot right now. And companies love that shit. And we're going to take a look at one certain company who has jumped on the woke bandwagon. All aboard, all aboard crazy town. Let's sell you some basic baby products and shit and slippery slope your kid down on into a life of gender confusion and daily in the car TikTok rants complaining and bitchism. F you for dead naming me. F you for not changing my fucking name on my ID. F you for not understanding my situation. F you for being transphobic. I am so fucking done with companies fucking us over. Where they get to talk about how they're on the edge of shit because somebody dead named them or misgendered them in public. And how the world owes them everything and everyone should just submit to their way of thinking and the reality that their nut bar selves live in. Lest you be a bigot. <laughs> All right, let's check out this video. Okay, so this woke baby advert comes from a baby furniture company called Stoke Baby. And the essential theme of this baby advert is promoting genderless babies. They're virtue signaling to everyone at how woke and righteous their company is because they believe in genderless babies. This is fucking mental. They actually claim that gender stereotypes and gender norms can harm kids' development. In what world? There's a reason it's called gender norms. It's normal, okay? It's been normal for a long fucking time. We've been operating on this shit forever and it's been going fabulously. The species continues. Kids grow up to be normal, healthy, functioning members of society without the added stress, anxiety and depression of wondering what gender they are or if they should start injecting themselves with hormones at a young age because someone told them that being a tomboy, for example, and being interested in boy things, that just might mean you're a boy and you don't know it. Let's encourage that shit. Let's make that the norm. And I completely understand that there has been and still is a very small percentage of the human population that do actually experience gender dysphoria and do make transitions to live their lives out as the opposite of what they were born. But we might also mention that a lot of that percentage just turn out to be homosexuals and confused about their sexual orientation, not in fact their gender. And for that very small percentage who are adults, might I add, and want to live that way, that is fine. Go on, as long as you're not harming anyone or trying to push this ideological shit onto others, especially children, then that's fine. But it has become a trend, hasn't it? It's become trendy. It's become popular. And thanks to these woke-ass companies pushing their agenda onto the mass population, we are seeing more and more and more young kids becoming gender confused, potentially subjecting themselves to harm through hormone therapy, which is also being pushed upon them by the medical industry, and woke educators in our schools. And it's making them sad, and it's making them depressed, and it's making them confused confused, especially in a modern TikTok society where everyone has to be in the limelight and everyone has to have a special thing about them to announce and broadcast out to everyone. So if the norm is everything against what I just mentioned, I'll stick with the positivity of the old norm, not your woke perception of what the new norm should be. My child likes nail polish and plays with dolls and sees colours without gender. Okay, so one, you're putting nail polish on your toddler 
bit weird. But yeah, so what? He likes dolls. He likes colours, which I presume you mean more feminine colours. And he likes to do drawings. That doesn't mean he's genderless. It doesn't mean he's in some non-binary gender world where he doesn't have to associate with things that are typically male. And I'm 100% certain you're exposing him and pushing these things onto him. Like he didn't magically one day come up to you and say, Mummy, I want to try on some nail polish. I want to try on some lipstick and makeup, Mummy. You 100% would be pushing this stuff onto him. You're influencing this. He's creative and confident because we allow him to express himself without being confined by gender stereotypes. Children learn what constitutes this male and female behavior from those closest to them. And this can have a profound impact on their development. What's the profound impact on their development? Are you serious? By me dressing my baby girl in more feminine colors, you're saying that I'm damaging her, that I am potentially damaging her in the future. Get a grip, lady. And no, what boys and girls like and what they tend to drift towards as interests and likes are not emphatically a repercussion of what the parents are putting onto them or what they're showing them are gender norms or stereotypes. It's a pretty well-known study that if you put a toy car or a Barbie doll in front of a young boy, they're going to gravitate to the car. And that has nothing to do with the parent's influence. It's very much biological. That young girls are more empathetic and nurturing. They pick up the Barbie doll because they want to nurture it. Or the boys like blocks because they like to build things and they like to use their hands to be creative. It's not all down to the parents. We have to be mindful and dedicated to challenge these social norms daily. Do we though? Do we really? Do you really fathom the potential damage you're doing by pushing this kind of ideology onto a small child, that they should be going against gender norms, that you are leading them down this life where they are potentially confused about their gender because their whole life, mummy's been telling them that you're not a boy or a girl. You're in the middle of some weird queer fairy pan sprite sexual spectrum. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Some netherworld where they'll always feel isolated and they'll never feel like they fit in, which is completely detrimental to anyone's mental health growing up in that society. Look around and you can see how harmful these boy-girl stereotypes are. Why are clothes still pink and blue? Flowers for the girls and superheroes for the boys. This is absolutely not a society thing. The majority of girls like more feminine colors. They like flowers. They like Barbie dolls. That's what they gravitate to towards their core. And the consumerist industry just play on that. They amplify it by making things more pink and purple for girls and more blue and red for boys. They will always play to the majority percentage of their consumer base. And if girls are buying more girly shit and boys are more attracted to boy shit, they're going to keep perpetuating that norm. And it's not fun fucking harmful. Where do you even come in with this shit? What is so harmful about it? Stop complaining that the majority of the population like things a certain way. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. This is like that pink tax, razor pink tax bullshit where all the feminists are complaining that uh, the pink razors are more expensive and they're aimed towards girls. Uh, sexism. Inequality. You're the dumbass bitches buying the pink razors because you want the pink razors. You want the pink razors, they know it, so they're giving it to you at a higher price because they know you're not going to go buy the blue razors. Fuck. Their options are so limited, which is why I choose to be a sad beige mom. The options are literally not limitless. You're an idiot. You don't have to buy the pink stuff. You can go and buy the blue and red boy shit if you want. But hey, make sure it's your kid actually coming to you saying, Mummy, I want to buy the pink and purple shit or I want to buy the blue and red shit. <laughs> not shit. I'm sure they're not saying shit at that age, but you understand. If it's their choice, that's fine. That's great. What we're talking about is the parents pushing this shit onto them. So you're just as bad as those you say promote harmful gender stereotypes stereotype, norm gender stereotypes. You're doing the same thing in the opposite direction, aren't you? Yes, you are. You know you are. I bet you are pushing that pink and purple shit onto your boy. The nail polish onto your boy, makeup or whatever it was onto your boy. He's probably not coming up to you and asking for it all off his own preferences. You're completely influencing that. But I'm also not going to deny my child something if it does bring him joy as he explores his personal identity without shame. 
that's fine. This goes back to what we just talked about. His own preference, his own authentic preference with no influence from you. And again, like I said, 100%, I do not believe that you have no influence on him wanting to choose the pink and the purple stuff. But if it is, if it is authentic and that's what the kid wants, yes, that is completely fine. Let's raise children without stereotypes by avoiding gender-specific toys and focus on play that develops their social and cognitive skills guided by their interests. And what if their interests are <laughs> to conform to those gender stereotypical toys. Hmm, what are you going to do then? You're going to be a bit worried, aren't you? You're going to be like, okay, son, or whatever he, your kid's name is, why don't we try playing with the Barbies for a bit? Let's, you know, get some diversity in our toy group. And he's going to be looking at the Barbies like, fuck what I want to play with that for. It's a doll. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't build anything with that. That's stupid. And you're going to keep pushing it, aren't you? You'll be like, no, the dolls are really great. Come on, you've got to try it. So you're probably not really letting him guide you on his interests, his authentic interests, are you? You're pushing the Barbie dolls onto him. Let's be real. Include them in household chores and read books that are inclusive with positive messages. Read books that are inclusive with positive messages. God damn. Damn, we are coddling a generation of emotional loser wimps, aren't we? Where's the hard and the fuck up nursery rhyme books anymore? At least all those old fairy tales with gendered norm had some sort of hardness about it. <laughs> Let's bring some of that grim stuff back where the prince has to fuck shit up to save the princess. Let's foster open communication and question traditional gender norms together. No, no, you don't have to do this with small kids. My God, let's teach our toddlers to break free from the shackles of traditional stereotypes. Let's confuse the shit out of them at a ripe young age. Let's get them early, guys. Oh. Break free from the outdated gender stereotypes and raise kids to be their authentic, confident selves, embracing diversity and placing value where it's most important on one's qualities rather than their expectation. Yeah, real nice woke messaging there, Stoke baby. You're talking about wanting your kid to be their most genuine, 100% authentic self. When it's so clear you're pushing this shit onto them, you are completely influencing them and teaching them that they should gravitate to hobbies and likes that are more associated with the opposite sex. So even if it is a biological impulse in them that they want to stick with the blocks or the Barbies, oh no, your parents going to be there to make sure they push the opposite onto them. And that is not letting them be their 100% genuine authentic selves, is it? Well, thanks for watching. That was disturbing to watch. And another great example of the trend of virtue signaling woke advertising. Remember to check me out on Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey or Twitter X and I'll see you in the next one. Tits out everyone. Ah!